Hey, we're back. So let's see. Last time we talked about what was it, integrity and stability and reliability and that kind of thing. So, uh, and this is all about um, things that people can do to be successful. So I was thinking one of the things I think successful people do is, is they always kind of think about what they're going to do before they do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that um, they don't just react. They kind of, I think, take a moment, pause, and think about, oh, what do I need to do in this situation? It's kind of the obvious, I mean, not the obvious, the opposite of uh, impulsivity. Do you know what impulsivity means? Um, like being like very fast. Mm -hmm. Being really fast, kind of jumping to a conclusion or jumping before you look. Um, so one of the things that I sometimes talk about with people is a particular approach of stop, think, and then you act. So um, when a situation happens, whatever it might be, you stop and kind of go, hmm, what do I need to do in this situation? Sometimes you can ask yourself, what is the problem or what is the issue here? Um, uh, somebody on the bus sits in your seat. I'm trying to give a silly example. Rather than getting on and going, hey, dude, you're in my seat. You can kind of stop, go, hmm, what's the problem? I always sit in the seat I normally sit in. Well, what can I do about that? Well, I can try to make it move. Yeah. But that could turn into a fight, which would get me in trouble. Um, not my seat, I don't own it. So the person certainly has the right to sit there. Um, so maybe you decide, ah, maybe I need to sit in a different seat. So then, you would stop, think, which was that piece, and then act, which would be kind of like, eh, okay, how's it going? And then go sit in a different seat. As opposed to maybe just kind of going with what your first response might be. In the end, you see how that might be helpful in situations? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I even try to do that. Sometimes, um, if at work, something comes up and my uh, first response is to kind of be negative or critical or complaining, especially when I'm writing emails, and especially if I'm writing an email to my boss. One of the things I'll do is try, if I write the email, don't send it, kind of wait an hour, wait a day, think about it. And often, you know what I do? I delete the email, because it's kind of like, yeah, this may not be the best approach. So, that, I think this approach of stop, think, then act is a way of getting that reliability and stability that we talked about last time. Because you can, even if you get, if you find yourself getting angry, um, being able to stop and go, what's the problem here? What do I need to do to solve my problem? Then acting on that basis can kind of help keep you from doing something that um, might get you in trouble. So, all right, thoughts? I'm not really, I'm not really understand. Okay, all right. So stop, think, and act. Yeah. Peace out. Bye.